Sam, we've worked so hard to get into the top four. Now it's imperative we stay there. Um, yes, definitely. We've, uh, after Nottingham away, which we had a very bad day, we got together and said, this can continue this way. We've, we've put too much work in. We need to see the results. And I believe uh, we've been growing and growing and building on from that. We've uh, only lost our Pirates away uh, due to uh, them having the right strategy. But uh, we have fought very hard and uh, this, this weekend is a very tough test to see if, if we are at that level, if we've really earned it and turned a corner or not. Because you mentioned Pirates then, it's been a turnaround in fortune since then, hasn't it, with four wins on the banks and the confidence was from high? Yes, yes. It's, 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 I guess every win builds and builds and, and makes it grow gradually that into a stronger team and there's more belief as well. We're still as, as good or a bad a team uh, as we were at the start of the season. We just keep growing, but then uh, you have to prove it every weekend. Bedford have only lost once at home all season. You need a complete 80-minute performance, don't you, in Golden's Road? Yes, definitely. Bedford are a very, very good attacking team. They'll counter-attack from anywhere. They're, they've got people in the, amongst their squad that can turn a game around in two seconds. And we've, we've been guilty of, of uh, losing concentration for slots of five, ten minutes, which has cost us dearly. And there's something we can't afford to do against Bedford. And I know you can't think too far ahead, but it's a crucial month now, isn't it, for Bristol this season? I mean, this really is crunch time now. Yes, it is. It is, and I'll, uh, I'll agree with you. We can't think too much ahead, and it's Bedford, and, and then we'll take it on from there. I guess it'll be next Monday we look at uh, what's next. Now we can only concentrate on Bedford.